Hey, welcome back. Today we are talking five bourbons that you can actually go into your store right now. Almost every single liquor store in the country. I've got a good list for y'all today. Five. You can walk into your store right now. You can buy them and you can enjoy them. So much of what we do here on Whiskey Row and other, other YouTube channels that talk a lot about bourbons and whiskeys, we talk about special stuff. And frankly, special stuff is getting harder than ever to find. These five, amazing. You can just walk into your store. They're not too, they're very affordable and they're much better than a lot of the special whiskeys that we all uh, we all try to hunt and find. Now, uh, before we get into it, I got to give a huge shout out and thank you to today's video sponsor, Zbiotics. Um, I don't know what your complaints are, but I know what mine are. Anyway, before, I'm not going to get into that or I'm going to get in trouble. But uh, let me just simply say, these five, amazing. You can just walk into your store. They're not too, they're very affordable and they're much better than a lot of the special whiskeys that we all uh, we all try to hunt and find. Now, uh, before we get into it, I got to give a huge shout out and thank you to today's video sponsor, Zbiotics. Zbiotics is the pre-alcohol probiotic based on a Japanese superfood called natto. They took that and then they used genetic engineering to create this. Now, what Zbiotic does? Hold on, let me take it. There is a toxin that is created as a byproduct of alcohol called acetaldehyde. Now, acetaldehyde, uh, that's what really leads to you feeling so crappy after you drink. Acts similar to how your liver function to combat acetaldehyde. With Halloween tomorrow and Thanksgiving right around the corner, it is time to stock up on some Z-Biotics to prepare for the holidays, whether they be holiday parties or just being around your family when you know you're going to need a little extra to drink. Now, go to zbiotics.com slash whiskey row or click on the QR code on your screen right now to receive 15% off your first order. And you can use that code to also subscribe so that you always have Zbiotics on hand. Thank you so much to Zbiotics for sponsoring today's episode. Now let's get through these five bottles really quick. We're gonna taste them, we're gonna try them, and I'm gonna tell you what I love about them. We're gonna talk about the price and whatnot. This, I'm almost out, I'm gonna have to restock. This is a Knob Creek Nine Year Single Barrel Reserve coming in at 120 proof. Now, I will say, frankly, I like Knob Creek better, Knob Creek 12 better than Knob Creek 9 by a little bit. Even though there's only three years age difference between the 9 and the 12, having a 120 proof single barrel version of this versus a blended batched 100 proof version of the 12, honestly, this is a great, great alternative to the 12. The 12 can actually be a little bit hard to find and the 12 at cast strength is very hard to find, but this is absolutely fantastic. On the nose, you get a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of caramel, some vanilla, some cream, a little bit of a peanut that you would expect from Jim Beam, a little bit of a dusty barrel, nice little char note in there as well. It smells very, very nice. Wow, that is exceptionally delicious. On the palate, you get a little bit of that proof spice up front, but it's super approachable. There's tons of caramel, vanilla cream. There is a little bit of a peanut nuttiness. I almost call it more of a like a peanut butter taste, like a peanut butter sauce than more of like a peanut shell or anything like that because it's actually super, super good. Great mouthfeel. That proof at 120 proof really gives you a really nice, satisfying mouthfeel. The finish is nice and long and tends to go to a little bit of like a, a caramel, like a peanut butter caramel candy bar. It's just absolutely fantastic. This thing uh, in Virginia retails for $60. I don't know what it is in your neck of the woods, but for $60 on the shelf, anytime you want it, this is an absolutely fantastic choice. Next up is Michter's Small Batch, coming in at 91.4 proof. Now this retails here in Virginia for right about $50. That's $48, $50, uh, probably similar in your neck of the woods. The reason why I love this one is because for the price, it gives you a much older bourbon experience. This, you know, there's other ones that give you great proof, delicious flavors. We'll talk about some more of those. This one gives you the kind of a maturity of and taste of a much older bourbon at a at a lower proof at 91 point whatever proof, and it's super super approachable. Yeah, on the nose you get this kind of like an older barrel must. I mean, these aren't particularly old or particularly young, but they are batched. But you get this nice musty barrel. That fades a little bit on the nose. And now I'm getting this very, very mild, almost like apricot preserves or jam. Caramel and like cream. Little faint clove in there. It's a little baking spice. It just smells so good. On the palate, there's this rich char note. 
which you don't get on younger bourbons very often, but it's just there and it's really, really pleasant. It's very settled. It's very well balanced across all the different flavor knobs. Really nice caramel, really nice vanilla cream. That oak char really comes through. And overall, like I said, for a $50 bourbon, a $48, $45 bourbon, whatever it is at your store, it comes across super complex, super well balanced, and, and tastes much, much older and much more special than the price point would suggest. Coming up next, and these are not in a particular order, but this is Four Roses Small Batch Select, coming in at 104 proof. So what I love about this one, with Four Roses, you start out with the Small Batch, and then you've got Four Roses Single Barrel, and then you've got Four Roses Small Batch Select. And what this is, this is about $60, $65 most places. It's, mo it's available now, it's pretty much available everywhere. So this is a blend of several different recipes across several different ages. But on the nose, you get that signature Four Roses floral quality. It's just a little bit of a green plant, a little bit of a, a sweet flower. Underneath that, you kind of get this vanilla cream and like a, a cake batter. Again, another beautiful nose. That's one of the things I love about this group that I've got for you today is the noses on them tend to be very, very nice, very approachable and delicious. On the palate, you get this blend of fruit and floral. There's a little bit of some stone fruits, I'll call it maybe a, an apricot. You blend that with some nice floral notes, very pretty, light, delicate. The proof point comes in with a solid 104 proof, so you it's not like thin or anything like that. It's got a really, really good mouthfeel for 104 proof. Normally you wouldn't think it would be this Cody for that proof, but it is, it's really nice. And then the finish just has a little bit of kind of a charry oak blended with that floral note and a little bit of that fruit. And it just all continues through nice sweet notes across the board. This is a great one, 104 proof, solid, usually around $65. Up next is a Baker's 7. Now, Baker's 7 is a little deceptive because it's actually a single barrel. Now, they call it Baker's 7. It's They're always 107 proof, and they're at least seven years old. But if you look at the neck of the bottle, you've got this one is eight years and eight months. So even though it says Baker's 7, minimum seven years, this is actually eight years and eight months. So you're talking an eight-year, eight-month uh, Gem Beam product coming in at 107 proof, and I have liked these for years. These are just, I think they're just special, nice bottles. I tend to not buy these until I see them over eight years. Uh, sometimes you can even get them into, into the very high eights. This is eight years, seven months, but there are others that you can get up there a little bit. And it's all the same price, so why not get one that's just a little bit older? It might be a little bit, a little bit better, maybe. On the nose, you get very traditional Jim Beam. You get char, a nice charry note. You get a little bit of like a dry oak barrel, some char, some caramel. You get a little bit of that proof. And the overall impression reminds me of like a, uh, like one of those bunt cakes. My mom used to make a cake like this. It was like a bunt cake and she'd like it put frosting on top. So it was like a little bit of a cinnamon and brown sugar bunt cake thing. I don't, I don't, I don't know what it was called. I wish I could tell you, but that's what it reminds me of on the nose. Just smells really, really good. On the palate, there's a nice proof point, a little bit of cinnamon spice there, a little bit of uh, 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 kind of a blackened, charry wood taste, a little bit of caramel, tons of vanilla cream, so much vanilla cream. There is a little faint peanut butter, but not as much as I get on a lot of other Jim Bean products on the palate. But overall, super thick and syrupy mouthfeel. It's just, I feel like I just ate like jam from a, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It's just so sticky on the sides of my mouth right now. This is a, a this is honestly one that I think it's overlooked a lot and it's surprisingly good. And I, I it's one that I always want to have. I go back to them all the time and uh, it's, it's a great, it's a great pour. Last bottle of the night, Old Forester 1920. And here's the problem with Old Forester 1920. It is tremendous. For the price, it is absolutely unbeatable. Uh, 115 proof. I don't know what Old Forester does to make, what Brown Foreman does to make these Old Forester 1920s so amazing. Uh, 1910's good. The other Whiskey Row line is fantastic. I, I mean, they're all pretty solid. The 1920 at $60, $65 is, is honestly one of... It's not one of, it is probably, in my opinion, the best value in bourbon, bar none. And there's a couple reasons why. So on the nose, you have this super sweet, 
char, caramel, oak, super deep. A lot of these other ones and a lot of whiskeys in general have some great flavors on them, but there's a depth on the 1920 that is absolutely unique to Brown Foreman. And it's very, very good. On the palate, you get a little bit of this effervescent quality to it. Super good brown sugars, caramels, vanilla, little bit of a little bit of a mild generic baking spice, a little bit of a nutmeg. Ooh, now I'm getting this like cinnamon roll quality. Tremendous mouthfeel, super thick, thick and syrupy. The finish just keeps going. I should put that up against like every time I get like a new special bourbon that I'm super jazzed about, I should pull out a 1920 and just put it next to it because it's surprisingly good for just something that sits on the shelf at almost every single liquor store across the country for 60, $65, 115 proof. This one is really, really hard to beat. In my opinion, all five of these are just absolutely tremendous values, tremendous buys. They're sitting on the shelf of your liquor store right now. If you haven't tried any of these five, rush out to the store, uh, maybe tomorrow morning. Go out to the store tomorrow morning, pick up one of these that you haven't tried. I highly recommend all five of these. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. Thank you so much to our today's video sponsor, Zbiotics. Go to zbiotics.com slash whiskey row and use code whiskey row at checkout to get 15% off your first order. Thank you so much. We appreciate our supporters. We appreciate all of you for watching these videos. And until next time, find a bottle you love.